Okay, so the most missed topic on last night's homework was balancing chemical equations with interfering coefficients, right? Attempted, att I don't know what if I said that right, but attempted, not yet learned, right? Yeah. The most missed one. Yeah. Oh, that was me too. Okay, <laughs> is balancing. I have a student here with me. I'm recording. So, <laughs> I'm, I have a student. It's okay. It's fine. I have a student here with me, and so uh, she may join the conversation. Uh, balancing chemical equations with interfering coefficients. Uh, so look, as promised, I'm going to click on this, snap a picture of it, and work on it with you. All right? So here we go. Balancing chemical equations with interfering coefficients. And I'm going to go here, take the picture, come over to my whiteboard, and I have to import this image. And it's going to be my last screenshot. Okay, so here we are. All right. So that said, let's work. Let's work through this together. Um, I'm not actually in Alex right now. I'm on my whiteboard application. This is just a picture of it. Okay. So balance the chemical equation. Well, the rules that Alex gives us uh, to to balance these chemical equations is to first of all look for compounds that are complicated, right? And I don't think he says it like that, or they say it like that, but look for compounds that are complicated. So here's a complicated one. Right? It's got a lot of different atoms in it. Here's another complicated one. Here's a simple one. Look at this. Here's a simple one, right? It's going to be really easy to balance those because they're simple. And these are simpler also, not quite as simple. They're compounds. Those, are two, those two are compounds, but, uh, right? All right, let me get rid of those notes now. Just a minute, a second here. Z, 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 Z. All right, so those are the complicated ones. So let's start out with the most complicated, and it looks like this is probably the most complicated. All right, so that said, the first rule is to put a one next to the most complicated one, and that's what we're going to do. So uh, we're going we're gonna to go there and put a one next to that calcium, uh, calcium phosphate is what that is. All right. So calcium phosphate, now that we've got that, we're going to come over here and we're going to look for the elements that are in, in there, right? So calcium is in there, phosphorus is in there, and oxygen is in there, right? So we're going to come over here and look for uh, one that's really, that's, that's still, com still complicated. So phosphorus, for example, is by itself over here. So I don't want to do phosphorus next, right? I don't want to do that because that's going to be easy. I want to save the easy one for last. Calcium is over here. And so I can do calcium because that's also complicated. Let's do that one. So calcium's here and there's three calciums here, right? So that means that there's gonna be at least three calciums over here. All right, so far so good. So we've done with calcium now. Now we're gonna go to the next element in here, which is complicated, right? So this oxygen has got a bunch of numbers around it. There's another oxygen here that's complicated. And we've got CO over here. All right, so. Let's, let's do this. Now that we've got these, these oxygen, how many oxygens do we have here? Looks like we've got four, but there's two of them, so there's eight. Eight total here, right? And there's, looks like there's two, two right here, and there's three times three. There's nine here and one here, right? So there's 10 oxygens over here and 10 oxygens over here. You see that? So the oxygens are taken care of, all right? So I'm gonna put a little X over calcium, a little X over oxygen. Here's a calcium that's taken care of. There's an oxygen that's taken care of. There's an oxygen that's taken care of. Oh, this is this is easier than it looks. Um, yeah, this is easier than it looks. All right, so those are so far so good. Silicon's not taken care of yet. Oh, and that, there's an oxygen. That's all taken care of, right? So once everything's taken care of, I've marked it off. All right, so now this uh, oh, this is going to get more complicated because I've got a silicon. There are three silicons here, right? There's three silicons there and only one here. So I'm going to have to put a three in front of that. Well, that changes this to a six, right? All right, so now oxygen's not com not, uh, not satisfied anymore. Um, let's go back to oxygen now. Silicon's done, but oxygen's not. So now that I've got that, let's say, um, let's go back to... So, all right, let me get rid of, let me do a different color now because it's going to get really busy. Calcium's done. Uh, oxygen, let's check it. Oxygen, I've got eight oxygens here still. I didn't change that. There's eight, but now I've got six over here, all right? So there's 14 total over here. Nine here still, I didn't change that in one. So there's 10 
10 over here and 14 over here. How can I change that? Well, I don't want to change that one because but I can change this one, right? So 8, it's 14 total, and there's 10 over here. So if I'm going to make 14 over here, i got to make that a 5. Do you see it? I'm going to put a 5 in front of that. That's going to make five oxygens there, and that'll make that 14. Okay? So my calciums are taken care of. I've already done that. My oxygens now are taken care of again. There's 14 on this side. Those are taken care of. Those are taken care of. And now there's 14, right? Those are taken care of too. Okay. So now the silicons. Let's look at that. I've got three silicons over here and three silicons over here. That's taken care of, and that's taken care of. All right. Oh, this is wonderful. Now all I have left is phosphorus atoms and carbon. So let's go here with this one. This is kind of complicated. There's two here, right? Two phosphorus over here and four over here. Well, this is by itself. So it's going to be easier for me if I just put a fraction right there in front of that, right? So now I've got two phosphorus over here. Let's put P here. It's getting a little bit busy. Two, and it's one half of four is also two. Hard to draw straight lines with this. All right, so it looks like phosphorus is taken care of also. Okay, and now that phosphorus is taken care of, then all I've got left is carbon. That's great, look at that. So looks like I've got five carbons over here and that's gonna be five there. All right, now I'm done. But what last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and, and count everything one more time because I'm patient. And I really want to get this right. So, calciums. I'm doing it in green this time so as not to mess it up, okay? Calcium. I've got three on this side. Can you see that? And then three on this side. That's three and three. Calcium's done. I'm just going to go left to right now. Let's go phosphorus. Phosphorus, there's two over here. And one half of four is two. Two and two. Okay, and then oxygens. There's eight total oxygens here, plus six is 14. And how many over here? Three times three is nine, plus five is 14. 14 over here. Oxygen's done. And let's keep going, left to right, right? So silicon, there's three silicons and three silicons. I think that's everything. Three and three, right? So I did calcium, I did phosphorus, I did oxygen, I did silicon, I've already done oxygen. I did carbon, I haven't done carbon yet. All right, I ran out of space down there, carbon. There's five carbons on this side and five carbons on this side. All right, so that's good. I think everything's done now. Silicons, oxygens, carbons, calciums, I've got calcium. Silicon, I did silicon. Oxygen's already did it. Phosphorus, already did it. Carbon, already did it. All right, I'm done, all right. Now I'm done making it balanced, but it oftentimes it's gonna be required to, look at this, smallest whole number coefficients, okay? So this one's one, this is three, this is five, this is three, this is one half. Ooh, that's not a whole number, and here's five. Now in order to make those a whole numbers, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply everything by the denominator of that coefficient. So I multiply everything by two. So look, this is gonna go I'm totally out of colors now. Let's go to black. This is going to go to 2. This is going to go to 6. Multiply everything by 2, right? 10. 6. 1. And 10. All right. So 2, 6, 10. No, wait. 2, 6, 10, 6, 1, and 5. And, of course, the 1 is understood, so we don't write that in there. All right? So that's the answer. For that. that was a really complicated question. We did that in chapter three, I think, of, of, uh, of principles one, but it's good, good to review it, good to have a good systematic approach. All right, good luck. Hope that's helpful.